massive earthquakes, strong typhoons, explosive eruptions, relentless floodings. These natural disasters have long been part of reality in the Philippines. No other country on the planet is as exposed to Mother Nature's wrath as this archipelago. And it's because of one specific reason, its geography. But why? There's no denying the fact the Philippines is like a paradise on Earth, with its thousands of majestic archipelagos surrounded by breathtaking, beautiful beaches. There's truly no place quite like it. But the same beauty made living on it deadly. Positioned at the epicenter of the world's most disaster-prone region, the Philippines doesn't just experience nature's fury. It takes the center stage of it all. Despite living at the mercy of nature's most destructive forces, more than 116 million Filipinos also get to experience its unparalleled beauty. The landscape of this nation is nothing short of extraordinary. Rugged mountain ranges, active volcanoes, vast coastlines and winding rivers. All of these tell the story of a nation constantly reshaped by nature's powerful forces. Rising above the terrain are mighty mountain ranges like the Cordillera Central, home to Mount Pulag, the country's third highest peak at 9,600 feet. The Sierra Madre stretches along Luzon's eastern coast. This mighty mountain range acts as a natural barrier against Pacific typhoons. In Mindanao, the formidable Mount Apo, standing at 9,692 feet, claims the title of the Philippines' tallest peak. It's home as well to some of the most beautiful volcanoes like Mayan, with its picturesque perfect cone, and Tal, one of the smallest, yet most active in the world. Beyond the rugged highlands, the Philippines is surrounded by water. With an astonishing 35,000 kilometers of coastline, one of the longest in the world, the country thrives on its rich marine ecosystems. Underscoring its significance, the country hosts the center of global marine biodiversity, the Tubataha Reef. This underwater sanctuary is home to 75% of the planet's coral species and 40% of the world's reef fish. Its beaches need no introduction. Boracay and El Nido repeatedly grabbed worldwide headlines due to their unparalleled beauty. Rivers and lakes thread through the islands, sustaining both nature and people. The Cagayan River in Luzon, the nation's longest, and the Agusan River in Mindanao are vital for irrigation, transport, and freshwater supply. Meanwhile, Laguna de Bay, the largest lake in the Philippines, and Lake Lanao, an important cultural site for the Maranao people, reflect the deep connection between Filipinos and their waterways. The Philippines isn't just blessed with paradise-like destinations, it's also a biodiversity wonderland, home to over 52,000 species of plants and animals, half of which exist nowhere else on Earth. This rich natural heritage makes the country a treasure trove for researchers and nature lovers alike. The undeniable beauty of the Philippines begs a crucial question. How can a place so breathtaking also be one of the worst places to live? The answer is simply due to its unfortunate geography. It is situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region infamous for its volcanic activity and extreme weather patterns. The Ring of Fire is a vast, horseshoe-shaped belt of seismic activity encircling the Pacific Ocean. It stretches around 40,000 square kilometers. If you lay Burj Khalifa flat side by side, it would take about 73,000 of them to stretch across the Ring of Fire's area. This region is known for its dense concentration of earthquake epicenters, volcanoes, and tectonic plate boundaries. It's not just famous for its name, this region is responsible for most of the world's earthquakes, including the most powerful ones, and is home to roughly 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. June 15, 1951. The largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century happened through Mount Pinatubo. It dramatically reshaped the surrounding landscape and had far-reaching effects, even influencing global climate patterns. With nearly 300 volcanoes scattered across its islands, 24 of them are classified as active, meaning they have erupted in the past and could potentially do so again. Over the last 400 years, the Philippines has experienced 44 significant volcanic eruptions. Although, the country experiences thousands of tremors each year. 
most of which are so minor that they go unnoticed by the general public. The placement on the ring of fire is also the reason why the nation is frequented with typhoons, usually around 20 typhoons each year. Some of these are so strong that they endanger the lives of millions of Filipinos. To explain this phenomena, we need to look at the effects of the heat generated by volcanoes in the country. This heat warms the surrounding environment, and when combined with the tropical waters of the Pacific, it creates the perfect conditions for cyclones to form. As a result, the Philippines finds itself squarely in the path of these powerful storms year after year. Since typhoons thrive on warm ocean currents, countries like the Philippines, situated in this heated zone, become prime targets for these powerful storms. As long as the Pacific Ring of Fire remains active, the Philippines will continue to be a natural magnet for typhoons. The nation's topography further amplifies its risk. Its mountainous terrain makes it highly susceptible to landslides, while its vast coastline exposes millions to rising sea levels, coastal erosion, and destructive storm surges. Floods are common, particularly during the monsoon season, compounding the impact of typhoons and making entire regions uninhabitable for weeks at a time. Despite the country's efforts to implement flood control projects, they remain insufficient to counter the relentless impact of severe weather that strikes year after year. Due to these reasons, it's no surprise that the country is often regarded as the most vulnerable country in the world. A 2024 study confirmed this harsh reality, ranking it at the top with a staggering disaster risk index of 46.91, outpacing Indonesia, which followed with 41.13. As harsh as it sounds, Filipinos don't live in fear of these threats, they rise above them. Despite the odds, they remain among the happiest people on Earth. They face these challenges with resilience and hope. For many, surviving these disasters means more than bracing for the storm. It means finding ways to rebuild time and again. However, while the Philippines holds the title as the world's most vulnerable country, it's far from alone. In reality, all of Asia bears the weight of being the most disaster-prone region on the planet. This continent witnessed some of the history's deadliest earthquakes, typhoons, and tsunamis. This leads us to our next question. Why? Well, this is due to a combination of factors. First, due to its volatile geography. Then, coupled with extreme climate patterns and sheer population density, which are complete recipes for disasters. The continent's vast and diverse landscapes from towering mountain ranges to sprawling coastlines, place it squarely in the path of typhoons, earthquakes, floods, and droughts. Factor in rapid urbanization, and the impact of these disasters becomes even more severe, leading to widespread destruction, economic upheaval, and loss of life. Geographically, Asia sits at the intersection of several natural forces that seem almost determined to test its resilience. Much of East and Southeast Asia lie within the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire. But it's not just the shifting Earth that makes Asia a hotspot for natural disasters, its climate plays an equally destructive role. The region sits directly in the path of powerful monsoons and typhoons that unleash torrential rains, brutal winds, and catastrophic flooding. Droughts, too, are a recurring nightmare. Countries reliant on seasonal rainfall, like India and China, face extreme water shortages when the rains fail. Intensifying this already volatile landscape is Asia's sheer population density. Over 4.2 billion people packed into a mere 7% of the world's landmass. This immense concentration of humanity means that when disaster strikes, the toll is often measured in tens of thousands. Megacities like Tokyo, Manila and Jakarta, perched on earthquake-prone zones and floodplains, are particularly vulnerable where a single event can displace millions and cause economic losses in the billions. In the end, though nature continues to test the resilience of the Philippines and much of Asia, each disaster becomes a testament to the unbreakable spirit of its people, enduring, rebuilding, and growing stronger with every challenge thrown their way. But, what are your thoughts about this? Hope you'll subscribe to be part of our growing community. As always, until the next one.